Hi everyone, this is Global Construction and today I want to show you a bunch of new features that will be included in the upcoming release. So let's start from the smallest thing, an improvement of deployment hint. So let's take this container, add something to it and enable deployment hint. And as you can see, there's this blue silhouette of the thing that will be constructed inside that kit um, in addition to the dimensions of the deployed container. So if you have something very asymmetric and big and you don't want to remember exactly how it looks and how it's oriented, uh, this uh, will help you. So the next handy thing uh, is the new ability to choose the direction of the deployment. So previously, in order to orient uh, the deployment and the resulting ship when it is spawned, you had to physically rotate the kit before you deploy it and before you begin the construction. But now you have an option to just order your kerbals to deploy the container the way you want it. You can rotate it and make it look to the right, here or there or back there. So the step is of course 90 degrees because uh, this also rotates the deployment so the container will be resized accordingly and you cannot uh, rotate it after you deploy the container. Uh, still this is much uh, easier than to actually haul the container with kerbals or some tag, tug or whatnot. So the next thing is a little aid in editor from Global Construction. So suppose you have this rocket here and you want to build it elsewhere using global construction. So you want to make a kit with it and send it or maybe assemble this kit on site if you already have uh, the assembly workshops. So now you have this a little window which is opened using the global construction icon on the application toolbar which shows uh, two sets of requirements the requirements to assemble the kit for this uh, vessel and the requirements to construct uh, the complete vessel from the kit so you should be familiar already with uh, what it shows because it's exactly what the workshop window shows. The requirement in resource, in construction resource, uh, the specialized parts for assembly, the material kits for construction, requirements uh, of electric charge and uh, the time, the working time. Okay, so Last but not least, and maybe the most anticipated uh, feature for a long time. Suppose you are building a space station and you want to add to it another segment. And the segment looks something like this, so you don't want to lift it from the planet's surface and you want not just built it uh, in orbit, but also you want to 
build it right uh, well as an extension of the existing station so you want it to be docked to the station when you build it and previously you haven't uh, have such uh, such opportunity such ability uh, well aside from of course manually moving it somehow uh, and attaching it to the station after you build it well not anymore now you can construct it in orbit uh, inside of one of these uh, dockable uh, heat containers spawn it and it will be automatically docked to the station instead of the container where you build it uh, so what what you need to do this aside from the from the segment itself and the station that performs the construction you have to have a part or maybe several parts that have attached nodes that point downward and that are the bottom most attached nodes of the whole construction here of the whole segment so here we have three such parts we can highlight it using the global construction info window and uh, here are the list which aside from the name of the part lists it's uh, well serial number because you of course can have multiple identical parts and unfortunately you have to remember this because later you'll have to choose uh, which one to use to dock it so it's easy to see which one is which and if you highlight all of them you then can well, rotate it and see that the bottom most part with the touch node has changed so the orientation in editor is important okay so let's see how it works in practice uh, I already have a construction station in orbit and uh, and an empty container where we'll first assemble the kit that uh, for that new segment and then construct it okay so here it is in the camera select the container and add the blueprint for the new segment to it there it is okay so let me show you what's new in the user interface uh, first of all there's this little d that indicates that uh, the vessel inside this kit may be docked in principle not every vessel has uh, the bottom most free attached now so not every kit can be docked when it is constructed then if you select the kit you of course have uh, the additional resources that are required for it but now you also have some options to choose uh, first you may enable the deployment hint from here and this is not a global option so here it is disabled but you can enable per container deployment heat hint so if you have multiple containers uh, you may only enable one of them and of course 
you can rotate it, rotate the direction of the deployment here. But currently the container is set to launch its content when it is built. So you see the silhouette of the segment is centered inside the container and uh, it won't be docked as is. It will be floating there. But now you can choose to dock it. And when you do so, you have the next option, namely the docking node, the attached node that will be attached here to this docking port instead of the container. And it could be one of the station hubs or the cupola, <laughs> which I'd rather not do, of course. But this shows uh, the important thing, there is no restriction, so you can even uh, build a rocket and dock it uh, via its nozzle uh, of the engine. And this also may be useful because then you may transfer resources or, or carbals easier. So let's, let's build it like this, for example. Okay, so now we don't need it anymore because first of all we'll have to assemble the kit itself. So it'll took a little bit of time because it's so huge, but nevertheless. So now it is construct uh, well assembled, not constructed, and in the workshop window dedicated for construction, you have the exactly same options. So you still can decide everything, which way and which not to use. So let's let's deploy it and see that now you can't deploy uh, by simply pushing this button. You have a warning that. Uh, prevents you to uh, prevents the accidental deployment because now you have uh, something to choose before and this warning outlines your main choice namely to dock or to launch the vessel on after construction The size of the deployment of the container is of course much bigger than the constructed segment because it's not centered. So you have to take that into account. Okay, let's construct it. And because it will be docked, we don't have to transfer anything. We'll just launch it. So here it comes. So here we are. This thing is docked and is accessible. Through the menus, you can even 
transfer some crew here. Well, of course you can. Uh, but more importantly, I deliber deliberately add some empty construction containers here because this allows me to perform incremental construction. So I've built this segment here and now I can continue by building the next segment here and it also will include uh, another set of empty containers and so on. So I can grow the station uh, how, how I like. So not infinitely, of course, but so let's select this container and because it is because it is docked to a docking port this will allow us to build something with with the same docking port facing here and then to undock and redock so let's select this container and there was a little train. Yeah, here it is. It's a small thing, so. And I also want to dock it after construction. Okay, so again, I don't have to, I don't have to transfer anything to it, but since it's a ship, actually, I'll do it because it's just simpler that way. And launch it. And again, it's docked. So, we have the full control, but it's docked through a docking port and you can decouple it and uh, then fly away and then recouple it here, so there's that. Okay. Um, one... One more thing I wanted to show you, uh, because now you have all these possibilities to grow the station and to have multiple containers and some tree-like structure and whatnot. Uh, I've added uh, some checks uh, that will prevent you to build something that will collide with the station and blow everything up. So let's select something huge enough. Say the same segment, same one. Uh, 
So, as you can see, the neighboring container and the opened gate of the hangar uh, are intersecting with the deployment, but you can only see that uh, when you enable the deployment hint and you may forget to do this. So let's first of all let's assemble this kit. Uh, give me I need some more resources for that. So now we have the assembled kit and well, let's try to just deploy it. So here you are. <clears throat> uh, when you try you have this warning that tells you that there may be a collision. Uh, but it doesn't prevent you uh, to deploy the thing because you may know that the danger is actually not there because well the container the deployment is one thing and the and the vessel that is built inside is another especially when you dock it afterwards so let's dock it and we see that it doesn't intersect n neither with the hangar nor uh, with this box. So the deployment should not be a problem for us. Okay, so let's see how it will work out. It's 
So again, we have the next segment, and now it is docked not via the docking port as previously, but just the two station hubs are docked, so this is permanent. Okay, thank you for watching and enjoy global construction with a new feature of incremental station construction.